Vanessa Oje and Natalie Bryant say they have filed complaints with the Texas Workforce Commission, the Labor Board, and the CHIP Medicaid office against nurses by prescription. The current and former employees say the company did not pay them in a timely manner, and when they did get paid, no one would cash their checks. Every time we go to go cash our checks, the bank would tell us there's insufficient funds on their account or they couldn't cash our checks for us at the time. When they're supposed to be paying you, you're, you need to get paid for what you're doing, regardless. They describe an elaborate alternative payment processing involving waiting for a company representative to go to the bank to get cash. We called Mr. Payroll and another retail outlet. They confirmed they do not accept checks from nurses by prescription, citing not sufficient funds and having issues with the company. We went to the company to try to get answers. A man named Jackson, whom the women claim was the man responsible, says he was not responsible. Rita is the owner, and then there's a payroll clerk that does all the payroll. Okay. So if there's an issue in between payroll and then not getting paid, I go handle it. Because okay. I just do the accounting for the business. Okay. So you guys have not had an issue with paying Jackson. people? No, Jackson. no, sir. We don't have an issue with oh, And that camera, right. if it's on, you're in trouble. Come on. Just tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Just tell them. Tell them. Tom Boyd's on line one. Tom Boyd's on line one? Yes. Tom Boyd, the company's attorney, released this statement. Nurses by prescription is very concerned about employees or former employees who claim that they have not been paid or that their paychecks have not been honored. The records of nurses by prescription indicate that all employees and former employees have been paid, the wages owed to them to date. Nurses by prescription will certainly investigate. Brandon Carpenter, Pro News 7.